Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today, I'm presenting the glossiest products that I have ever used. Those products that will make your eyes pop, hence why I'm wearing my big boy shades on. The products that will give a mirror-like shine, a super glossy, wet-looking appearance to your paintwork, right? So things that we all love and all look for. So it's that eternal quest for the ultimate gloss. And uh, so there are many products on the market out there that do a great job, but today I'm presenting about a dozen products from paint sealants to silica spray sealants to carnauba waxes and even ceramic coatings that just bump everything a huge notch and uh, bring it to a level 11 on the gloss meter, right? And you're gonna learn everything there is to know about them. And appropriately, we're also filming this in glorious 4K Ultra HD, thanks to my new equipment. So it should look pretty crispy and pretty sharp. So you know the drill without further ado. Stay tuned, let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan, welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day, so let's dig right into it. But before we go ahead and do so, if you're new to the channel and haven't done so yet, consider clicking the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos if you wanna to continue to learn more about car detailing. So all the products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques. And also, don't worry guys, all the products that I'll be talking about today, I'll drop the links to them in the description under this video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, so for the products that I'm presenting today, again, about a dozen different products from carnauba waxes to synthetic paint sealants, to silica spray sealants, so spray sealants infused with ceramic technology, to full-blown ceramic coatings. There's gonna be something for everyone out there. And by the way, I'm curious, what is your top three most glossy products that you guys love using? Drop them in the comment section under the video so we can start this discussion. It's always nice to see a viewer's opinions from around the world, right? Uh, what products you guys have in your country, the experience you have with the products, and basically which ones are your go-tos uh, to get that ultimate gloss, so that deep, wet look, that uh, shine that looks like a mirror, we all love that. This is through my experience, of course. These are the uh, 12 or 14, I think, different products uh, through my 23 plus years of detailing have allowed me to come up with this conclusion because I use them often. Uh, and there are some that are very exceptional, but they may differ from your list and that's fine as well. So leave me what your top three is in the comment section. Okay, so let's jump into, uh, first of all, a wax that I have recently tested. The majority of these, by the way, you can see in-depth videos on my channel if you're curious. Uh, the first one is Gion Wax. So this is a brand new product for 2021 and it's a roller style, kind of like a deodorant type wax. Let me show you this up close. So, uh, oh, nice zoom in, I love that. So you can see here, kind of like a paste, right? And so this is a fluorine, fluorine based product. So it's gonna have a great durability. However, the gloss and the hydrophobic properties is what really got to me, but we're focusing on gloss today. So uh, yeah, the gloss levels of this guys is absolutely insane. Like all of these, by the way. So these are all next level as far as I'm concerned for gloss and shine. So uh, yeah, Gion Wax, uh, people thought waxing was dead, but no, it's actually coming to a pretty big revival for 2021. A lot of companies coming out with different products. So let me set these here in the background so you guys can still view them. The uh, next one, by the way, this is not a sponsored video for obvious reasons. We have a bunch of different products from different companies. So a quick disclaimer, no sponsorship uh, in this video. Okay. Next one from TAC System. This is called Shiny Wax. So uh, basically a uh, ceramic infused, if I'm not mistaking this one, I think there was some ceramic uh, properties inside there. Basically water repellent, UV protection, but what we're looking at once more is gloss. Uh, by the way, Interesting note, I reached out to a bunch of my fellow YouTubers that have detailing channels as well. So Brian from Apex Detail, uh, Brian from Fab Automotive Detailing, John Delieu from Forensic Detailing Channel, uh, as well as Jason Utterness from Chicago Auto Pros, uh, and who else? Kyle from Wax Mode, and also Phil from Miranda Detailing. So basically, I asked them the same question. What are your go-to products uh, for LSPs 
or insane gloss or paint protectants that boost gloss uh, to the highest possible levels. And so a lot of these products I was happy to see that, well, we share in common because they have the same thoughts. So it's always nice to have uh, basically a community effect to see what, uh, what else people like out there. So yeah, all of these products, guys, regardless of what your pick is, there is a product for everyone. Again, whether you like a wax, a sealant, a silica spray sealant, or a ceramic coating, there's something for you in this video. So stay tuned till the end. Okay, uh, TAC System Shiny Wax. Once again, fantastic product for gloss. These are all pretty simple to apply, but the spray forms, of course, are the easiest because it's basically spray on, wipe off, and boom, you're good to go. Uh, do they talk about a wait time on here? No, there doesn't seem to be uh, any directions for curing. So uh, some of them you need to let cure for a few hours to up to 48 hours, depending on what you're using. Uh, but the majority of them too, spray on, wipe off, or apply and wipe off, and that's it. Uh, by the way, the Gion Wax needs about 30 minutes on the paintwork before you wipe off. So that's when you're done applying. And then an additional 12 hours of curing before you expose the vehicle to the uh, outside elements, uh, especially water or rain. So wait 12 hours. Uh, next up. So a company that uh, a few of my buddies made me discover from Extreme Solutions, this is Topper. So the name says it all. This is a topper. So you're gonna use this as the sacrificial layer over your existing protection, whether it's a wax, a paint sealant, or a ceramic coating. This is compatible with all of them. Uh, super easy to apply, spray on, wipe off, and that's it. Uh, once again, the gloss levels <laughs> that these guys give. And we're nitpicking, by the way. I hope you're not gonna ask me which one I prefer because they are all, this is like tier 11 out of 10 gloss levels, right? So at this point, you're really nitpicking. It's very hard to pick one out just for the gloss itself. They're all pretty equal as far as I'm concerned. So again, bringing out some richness, uh, some depth in the color, making it pop a lot more, giving a mirror-like finish. And these are all, by the way, the ones I'm presenting today, they're all super slick to the touch, which is something that I appreciate a lot. Don't you love just finishing off that vehicle, uh, giving it that final last step of protection or a coat of protection, and then running the backside of your hand on the paintwork, and uh, you feel that silky smooth or that slickness, uh, and, and beyond the appearance, it's like what it feels like as well. I don't know, call me obsessed. Uh, about detailing, but yeah, it's it's just a huge passion and I think that's a big reward. We all like getting to that final step, right? And seeing the results and uh, yeah. So uh, Extreme Solutions Topper, once again, a uh, top coat lubricant and protectant. So next on, what do we have? So from uh, NV Car Care, based out of Australia, we have the Nova Luster from the Nova series. So they have the Nova Jet, which is the paint sealant, and the Luster is something that's infused with other components that makes it more like a carnauba wax, so a warmer glow. Uh, this can last up to six months, so it's a, still a very good sealant as far as durability goes. But once again, the difference compared to their Jet sealant is that this one gives you a deeper shine. So if that's what you're looking for, some people even top Jet with Luster. Uh, or apply a base layer of luster and top it with jet, whatever you prefer. Uh, but essentially this one for gloss and that warmth in the glow, uh, yeah. So if you like that organic look or that carnauba wax look, but you want a spray application, uh, this is the one to use. What do we have next? So many <laughs> awesome products, it's insane. Okay, for those of you who want the ultimate carnauba wax, this one typically wins first place every single year for my favorite carnauba based wax. And this is the Obsessed Made by Swiss Wax Luxury Carnauba Show Wax. So let me give you a close up. As the name states, this is a luxury show car wax. This is very, very expensive, several hundreds of dollars. However, this is not made for durability, by the way. You're not gonna get a year of protection out of this. A few months is what you're looking for, but it's a paste wax. For those of you who love to have that feeling of applying a nice quality carnauba wax, and of course, Swiss Fax, a Swiss company, is known for some of the best high-grade waxes in the world. Very high carnauba concentration on this one, uh, very high purity as well, and just the finish that it gives. If you have a special vehicle uh, and you're going out and about, uh, in the town for something awesome, or you're at a meet, a uh, car and coffee or whatever, and you want your car to stand out, this is a crazy one. 
Okay, what do we have next? Well, how can we talk about gloss without one of the gloss kings, at least in my experience, and that would be PNS Beadmaker. So, synthetic paint sealant in a spray form that you apply and gives you insane gloss and slickness. Uh, this doesn't last very long, so three to four weeks of durability, but we use this mainly as a topper over existing protection. This can go, by the way, on top of waxes, paint sealants, and ceramic coatings, so very versatile. And once you do your base layer, so a heavier application for the first coat, you're gonna let this cure for four to eight hours. Always follow the instructions of regardless of what product you're using. Uh, and then it's just a matter of using this as a drying aid. That's what I like to do on my vehicles. So once you're done washing uh, and drying your vehicle in the future, you just spray a bit of this on the panel while your vehicle is still wet. You dry using your uh, microfiber drying towel and that's it. Uh, great, great gloss and slickness. Now in a recent video that I made on my channel, I don't have that issue, but some viewers, depending on where you live, some of them said that it attracts dust a little more. And so Sydney from PNS in one of their recent videos gave a quick trick, and I have a video on that myself. So it's to use uh, as on top of a bead maker, you can apply paint gloss. So this is just a quick detail spray that you can also use as a clay lubricant and as a polishing pad lubricant as well. So multiple use, has UV protection as, as well, and is gonna give you that super silky smooth appearance. But because of the anti-static properties, it should reduce your dusting by quite a bit. So after you apply Beadmaker, wait a few hours and you can apply this on top and it should reduce the dusting while also boosting slickness and gloss even more. So this is a fantastic duo by PNS. Uh, next. So we have the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Pro Graphene Infused to the Max Wax. Now on my channel, I had reviewed the Flex Wax, which is the spray variant of this, and some people were asking me what the difference is with the liquid version. So of course, not only the application, this is hand applied uh, instead of spray application like the Flex Wax. So this is a graphene infused and ceramic infused protectant, but the difference is that this one has a bit more slickness, and you guessed it, a bit more gloss and richness that it adds into the paint and it's just insane. Value proposition, top notch, just a fantastic product. So for those of you who want uh, a liquid form of protection, uh, again, hand application, this is absolutely fantastic. Uh, can you use this with a machine? Yes, you can also apply this by machine. So I use it by hand, but you can do a hand application as well. Uh, but yeah, gloss and slickness, absolutely insane. Okay, uh, another one from Turtle Wax, and this was an exclusive reveal. I hope you watched that video because it was insane. So a brand new product, this was a limited edition. I don't know if by the time this video is out, if they're already sold out, uh, but check it out. If not, you can still get the regular version. This is the new ceramic graphene paste wax uh, by Turtle Wax. Let me give you a front label shot. And this was to commemorate 75 years and this is why it's the limited edition. 75 years of Turtle Wax ownership by the same family, by the way. And uh, Sandra Healy and Dennis Healy, the late Dennis Healy, my condolences to the Healy family. Uh, the owners of Turtle Wax signed this as well. So 75th anniversary limited edition. Uh, this is basically a paste wax infused with 10 different blends of waxes, ceramic technology and graphene technology. The gloss was off the charts and uh, even the hydrophobic properties as well. Uh, it smells awesome, very, very easy to apply. You have to check that video out and check the product out on my channel for sure. Uh, what do we have next? Okay. So if we dive into ceramic coatings, why not? Because a lot of people like them. So pretty much all the ceramic coatings or graphene coatings give fantastic gloss. That's a known, they boost gloss levels, uh, especially if you uh, deal with um, brands that are known to produce quality products. I'm talking about CarPro, Gion, um, you have G-Technique, you have Kamikaze, Glassparency, uh, and a lot of uh, even more, let's say, mid-tier level brands, so not as top of the line or pro grade. Let's say we have Ethos that does some fantastic ones, even Adams, their new graphene stuff, pretty, pretty good. Uh, you have SPS that does some uh, great stuff as well, Art of Shine that I recently discovered, um, the Inspiration Coating by PNS. Basically, all the ceramic coatings or graphene coatings that I have tested always boost gloss, but there are a few exceptions, again, that bring this to a level 11 out of 10 and give you that candy 
like gloss, that super deep mirror shine, or something at least that distinguishes it from other variants, right? Uh, and one of them is Gion Pure. So for those of you who love candy-like gloss, like that hard shell finish on uh, candy-coated bonbons, um, well, this is one of them. Pure. So they have a bunch of coatings, but this one here specifically for the gloss that is nuts. Only one layer is required, up to 18 months of protection. But this is mainly for easy application and those who want crazy gloss. Once again, that candy-like appearance. If we continue in the theme of ceramic coatings, uh, there is one that really stands out. It is on the higher uh, end of the scale as far as price goes, but I mean straight from Japan. I'm sure you guys have guessed, for those of you who follow my channel, uh, but we have Zipang Coat from Miyabi. Uh, not from Miyabi, sorry, from Kamikaze Collection. So Kamikaze, straight out of Japan, they constantly work on improving their products, and uh, Zipang is just... I don't even know how to describe it. So for a ceramic coating, as far as gloss goes, if you guys have the budget for it, you will not regret it. Uh, so it's a five plus year ceramic coating. So very high durability, which is rare for something that's as glossy as this, right? So five plus years. What is strongly recommended is that you apply a base coat of their Miyabi coating. Let me give you a close up of this one. There we go. So that's Miyabi coat. So you would apply a base layer of this and then a top coat of the Zipang coat. So you wait one to two hours before you apply the top coat. This one you don't apply in a crosshatch pattern, only in straight lines, um, and that's pretty much it. Or, if you have the time and budget, you can do the Zipang sandwich. So base layer of Zipang coat, then you would do a middle layer of Miyabi coat, and again, a top layer of Zipang again, and then you have the ultimate, not only in durability, but in gloss, but at least base layer of this, top coat of this, thank me later. <laughs> okay, what else do we have? So, uh, our final two products are in the same family. So these are quick detail sprays. One is infused with ceramic and one isn't. And again, these are some of the uh, glossiest quick detailers that you guys can purchase. So what I like quick detailers for is that last touch on a vehicle when you're done washing it or as a drying aid. So they can be applied on a dry surface or use them as a drying aid with your microfiber towel. Once the vehicle is still wet, you're gonna dry your vehicle with it so it adds lubrication while drying and crazy gloss and slickness, of course. So the first one is Gion Quick Detailer. So let me give you a close up here once again, there you go. So this quick detail spray is super easy to apply. This is gonna be an LSP or a last step product. Uh, so the final touch right before the vehicle goes out or if you just washed your vehicle and you wanna give some lubrication while you're drying, because by the way, that's how you alleviate some of the scratches and swirls that happen mainly in the washing stage and the drying stage. So you always wanna have a drying aid with you. Uh, and the variant, so this one here by the way, is a great topper. If you applied something like Gion Wax and you want to maintain your vehicle after you're done washing it, this is a great topper for that uh, or any ceramic coating. But if you do have a ceramic coating and you want something even more specific, one of their new products. So this is the uh, Gion Ceramic Detailer. So the difference is, yep, you guessed it. It's infused with ceramic technology. Once again, I don't know how they do this, but the gloss levels and the slickness that it brings, nuts. So if you have a Gion ceramic coating or any ceramic coating or graphene coating and you wanna use a quick detail spray or a drying aid, this is one of them, <laughs> believe me. Uh, yeah, it's just as good as this one was uh, for the, um, as far as gloss is concerned and slickness. However, this one here is gonna be a bit more durable. So of course, we're talking a few weeks, maybe a month or so, uh, up to two months, but to don't look for long-term durability. That's not what we use this product for, but basically it's to enhance the hydrophobic properties and the gloss, and that's always what we're looking for, right? And so let me give you first a quick note, right? So we, uh, the information that I like to give is, of course, important. The biggest increase that you can get for gloss, guys, is through machine polishing. So paint correction is actually where you're gonna see the biggest increase in that gloss and shine, because basically, if you have any oxidation, any swirls, or any scratches on your paint, that affects the way the light refracts off 
uh, from the paint into your eyes, right? And so you're not getting that huge gloss if you have oxidized paint, which looks milky white in appearance, or if you have a bunch of swirls and scratches, that light isn't reflecting perfectly, and hence you're getting a diminishing gloss. So to alleviate that, what we do is machine polishing, either a two-step, like a compound followed by a polish, or a one-step polish if your paintwork is in decent condition. And that's all to level the surface, so to remove those swirls, scratches, and oxidation, and make the paint as true and flat as possible, so the light can bounce off it a lot better. You're increasing your clarity and depth as well. And overall, you're gonna get probably a better appearance of the color of your paint as well. If it's a metallic finish, you're gonna see that metallic flake a lot better. Uh, it's gonna feel a lot richer as well, and just overall looking great. So. Again, the biggest thing you can do before you apply any form of paint protection or last step protection or last step product or LSP is to make sure you do a paint correction. So once all of that is done, of course you apply some form of protection, right? Because you want to protect your clear coat against the elements, against UV rays, yada, yada, yada. I have a bunch of videos on that on my channel, but we're always in the quest to find the glossiest products. Now, second note, if we do some measurings with some gloss meters, there are some products that actually increase the amount of gloss units that these products will give by a few bump, uh, a bump up in a few units, and some of them actually remove a few units if we're looking only through scientific measurements. So you're, you're asking yourself, well, isn't that weird? I'm applying a protectant that's supposed to increase gloss. However, a gloss meter is giving a reading that is removing a bit of gloss units. Well, I'm not gonna get into the science behind that. However, that could be interesting for a future video. If you wanna learn why uh, that is the case, let me know and I'll hook up with somebody uh, that is a uh, paint surface expert or somebody that knows a lot about those gloss meters. But that's why I always say the best judge is your eyes. If what you look at is better to you, so if it has more richness, more depth in the color, more clarity, and a huge increase in gloss, and of course it's gonna give you slickness, well, I think that's a great thing, so always let your eyes be the judge. Uh, I think gloss meters are great if you're doing paint correction to see if you're actually increasing that gloss level, but beyond that, when you've polished your paint to almost perfection, it is very hard to have higher gloss readings through a machine However, once again, your eyes see the difference and all the products today, why they're special, it's because they're doing something to the paint, either giving you a better perception or the uh, richness of that color or metallic flake, or even if, you're not, if you don't have any metallic paint, increasing that gloss, giving it some depth, some richness, basically something that a meter will never give you. And so that uh, pretty much sums it up, guys. So once again, you'll find all of these products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Let me know if you used any one of these behind me, I wanna know which ones and if they were some of your favorite, I wanna know your top three. What are your selections for the glossiest products that you have ever used? Let us know in the comments. I'm always reading your comments. You guys know for those who follow my channel that I usually reply to pretty much all the comments on YouTube. I'm super close to my audience. I hope you appreciate that. I can spend up to what, two, three hours a day just responding to the hundreds of comments. Uh, I try my best to be close to my audience and you guys are just awesome. Together we have built one of the biggest and fastest growing car detailing channels on YouTube. So thank you for that. Uh, if you're new to the channel, again, if you wanna to continue to learn more about car detailing, all the products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques, don't forget to click the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So guys, Gion Ceramic Detailer, Gion Quick Detailer, Gion Wax, Tax System Shiny Wax, Extreme Solutions Topper, uh, Envy Car Care, Nova Luster, Obsessed Luxury Carnuba Show Car Wax by Swiss Wax, Beadmaker Paint Protectant uh, by PNS, PNS Paint Gloss, Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Pro Graphene Infused to the Max Wax, Turtle Wax Limited Edition Ceramic Graphene Paste Wax, uh, Miyabi and Zipang Coat from Kamikaze, and Gion Pure, all fantastic and glossy products. Don't we love detailing? Keep the obsession going. This community, guys, that we built together is absolutely awesome. Never feel shy, by the way, for enjoying what you're doing. Go out there, detail your cars, even if you're out there for 12, 15 hours, eight hours, and your neighbors are laughing, well, guess what? You guys have the cleanest rides out there. 
So let me finish with a statement by putting these back on. So my viewers rock. Let's continue doing what we do best, which is taking care of our cars and bringing them to a level 11. So thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.